Alright, so this is another of those update videos on the uh motor or the bicycle kit thing. Um I still don't have a back wheel, but um there were some bikes on Craigslist and I was supposed to go look at them today. Uh one of them would have been fine, I'm pretty sure, but I ended up having a meeting at Meyer for over an hour and I thought it was only going to be like half an hour so I got out of the meeting too late to go and check them out because I had class at 7.30 and it was going to take an hour to get out there and I didn't get home till 6. So I wouldn't have gotten out there until 7 and then I would have only had half an hour to take an hour trip home. So that obviously wouldn't have worked. Um, so, let's see, the things I've added since the last video, um, I put the muffler and, well, the whole exhaust, because it starts here, there's a gasket here, and then the bolts that attach the pipe and then the muffler, so I did that, um, I put the gas tank on, the bike's upside down, so this is the bottom of the gas tank, and then here's the uh, where the fuel comes out. There's a lever right down here, right here, and that turns the fuel on and off. The tank's actually not tightened all the way because I have to find a socket that's uh, small enough for these uh, and deep enough to fit over this bolt. There's probably one in there, but I haven't looked for it yet. But the other thing I did, the big thing that I finished, was uh, I got the throttle attached to the handlebars. Because you can see here, there's handlebars on the bike. But those are the original handlebars that came with the bike. And I don't want to, like I said in the last video, I didn't want to cut them up and mess with them. So the people who sold me the bike, it was actually really cool, they gave me an extra set of handlebars which are right here that's one of the grips that I put on Let's see, one one grip there, and that's the normal one but then on the other side is the uh, the one with the throttle, so the red thing, that's the kill switch to uh, shut the engine off that's where the throttle cable comes out, and then that's the wire that, uh, let's see, it's over here, right there. It's not connected to anything, obviously. And this, you got the carburetor, intake, um, fuel line will go on to this little gold thing, and then that is another, uh, little control thing but I don't know what it's for because you can't see it but there's like Japanese or Chinese characters on each side of it with an arrow between them and I don't I can't read either of those languages um I want to see if I can show this Let's see okay maybe but you can kind of you can kind of see in there let's see and now it's moving. How annoying. Alright. Let's see. It's almost like we need... Maybe it'll work there. I doubt it, though. I have to see if... Nope, it just tips over. Because, uh, well, I can show that thing. Let's see it. Just twists like that. And then, um... Yeah, we can just... We'll just have to flip it around. Because I need the, um thing to be in the light. Here's my m messy bed chair. Um, so let's see here. We got, here it is. Now that it's, um, alright, this might work now. Alright, because you can see right in there that silver thing when we twist when we twist the throttle, that's um, throttle completely closed, and that's wide open. So, 
when that thing moves out of the way, it lets in more air, and then it mixes with the fuel, and then it explodes inside the uh, inside the cylinder when it gets mixed with the spark or ignited by the spark. It's not like it mixes with it, but yep. So that works like that. So that's pretty cool. Um. I haven't gotten anything else done. Um, one of the other things, one of the only other things I have left to do is, uh, it's hard to climb over all this stuff. I got, oh great, now it's like stuck behind the chair. Awesome. I've got, yep, it's like all tangled up in here. Great. Uh, I've got the, uh, the clutch cable right here, so obviously this thing, you know, just like any normal thing, you just do that. It's not adjusted at all yet, you know, but, um... Because obviously with all this cable out here and this end. But this right here goes into... Uh, I'm stepping on stuff. It goes into this right here. And this thing controls the clutch. Or it doesn't... It is pretty much... If you turn it, it'll push the sprocket that's in here inward so that it engages the engine. And obviously that would make the chain spin and make the back wheel spin. The back wheel that I don't have yet. So, that's it. Um, I've got work tomorrow from 10 to 5. And hopefully the guy from today will call me back tomorrow and say, you know, yes, I still have one of the bikes, and then I'll go over and see it. And if he doesn't still have one of them, go back on Craigslist and find some more. Because we know that other people have bikes. So that's it. Another almost eight minute long video. Hooray.